Hi right there guys, well today we are going to be looking at different types of networks and these are the various acronyms that we're covering LAN, MAN, WAN and GAN. Now this is not a new language that we're learning, these are just acronyms and let's see what these acronyms actually stand for. We're going to start first of all with a very cool transition to a super cool video background. Haha, <laughs> yes. Then we're going to start by looking at the actual, oh I stopped the video, there we go, LAN, MAN, WAN and GAN, all right, L-A-N, M-A-N, W-A-N, G-A-N. So let's see what do these stand for, what do they mean, all right, so LAN, let's start with LAN. LAN is a local area network. MAN stands for Metropolitan Area Network. WAN, W-A-N stands for Wide Area Network. And GAN, what could the G be? It could be global area network all right now I've sort of done these in a slanting thing going up okay to give you an indication of which is the smallest one and which is the largest one all right so that's why I did it this way okay let's have a look and start with a LAN a local area network what is a local area network well basically a local area network is a network that is limited to a local or regional area something like a small business or a school or a library so where you are at school or in a, if you go to the library for example or anywhere where there's a small business um, or a company one building for example that would be an example of a local area network it doesn't get much bigger than that all right then we move on something slightly bigger which is a metropolitan area network that is obviously much larger than a local area network because it covers a much greater area such as a town or a city you could have several companies or businesses linked together or a business might have various locations across a great city like Johannesburg Randburg to the north the south the east the west and all of that is covered and linked together that would be an example of a metropolitan area network then we have a wide area network obviously this is even bigger than a metropolitan area network because it covers a much larger geographical region for example accessing uh, across a whole province okay or uh, sorry across a whole province across provinces is what I meant to say or a whole country for example Right, so that's what the wide area network is. So for example, a bank, a bank that has various branches in cities all around the country, that whole network for that bank, that would be a wide area network. Okay. Last but not least, the global area network, and I'm sure this is obvious to you, multiple geographical regions, literally it spans the globe. Okay, multiple networks all connected to each other or a multiple network that could go across from one country to another country to another country. So that sort of network could also be indicative of the Internet. Perhaps you've heard of it. Yes. Okay. So in a nutshell, we have four different kinds of networks that you learn about in grade 10. The LAN, local area network. The MAN, the metropolitan area network the WAN, the Wide Area Network, and the GAN, the Global Area Network, which is also a good illustration of the internet. So, I hope you've learned something today, and uh, have a look when you are back at school, or in a library, or traveling anywhere, and look at what kind of networks are around you, and see where they fit into one of these ones, okay?